sleepapnea.org presents Portraits, Living with Sleep Apnea, a conversation with Bray Patrick Lake. Bray, what is Evidation Health and what is their role? Evidation Health is a company that seeks better ways to measure health in everyday life. And so that means understanding patients' behavior, lifestyle, diet, all of the data that's really invisible from the healthcare encounter and not found in a clinical record. How does sleep fit into that as a component? Sleep has a huge impact on everyday health. So if you haven't slept well, it can affect your function. It can affect your ability to think clearly. It can affect your motor skills. And in general, it's a huge driver of quality of life that's often not measured. What is Evidation Health doing within the community? Evidation Health has partnered with the American Sleep Apnea Association on a survey to better understand the patient experience in living and surviving with sleep apnea. And so there's two components to our work. Evidation has a group of patients who have reported having sleep apnea in the tens of thousands. And then we also work with sleep apnea to distribute a survey to the association and the association's partners. What does Evidation Health hope to achieve? Evidation's role in working with sleep apnea patients and the association is to better understand the patient experience. And what we want to do is better measure that experience and then apply that to medical product development and then help improve health outcomes. And so some of that goes into what we would call a regulatory setting with FDA-regulated medical products. And so we can use the patient experience to help design clinical trials and new medical products. And that really uh, starts with unmet need and understanding you know, what do the patients living with this disease need most? What are the most burdensome symptoms? And then you can use that in what we would call endpoints or clinical outcomes assessments and clinical trials. And then you can measure whether a product is safe and effective based on what we would call a more patient-centered measure. So then assuming that a medical product gets developed and makes it to market, it's really important to understand how patients are accessing it. Are they able to get access? Do providers... Um, write prescriptions? Do they assess the patient condition and allow them to get a prescription? And then are they able to get those prescriptions paid for? And so that's a reimbursement model. And then in the end, how do patients actually use these medical products to improve their life and improve their health outcomes? What do you learn from your interactions with the patients? The thought is that you want to understand the patient experience. And to do that, you have to listen to the patient voice. And oftentimes that's been left out of clinical trial design and medical product development because the design of the trial has been from physician perspective or industry-sponsored perspective, and they haven't really listened to that patient voice. And so you have to understand what it's like to live with that condition in order to help people improve their health outcomes or design medical products that are actually useful to them. How important is the patient voice in the process? There's nothing more important than the patient voice in medical product development, and historically, that's often been left out. So there's actually new legislation that is helping FDA and holding them accountable for bringing the patient voice into medical product development. And it's sad that we have to really push this hard to make it happen because you would think in any other industry, it's organic. You start with the consumer or the user experience. And in medical product development, uh, it's been completely left out. What is your message to people living with sleep apnea? My message to people living with sleep apnea is to collect their data and try to take control. I know it can feel very scary when you're living with a disease. Your life is upside down. You're attending medical appointments. You're trying to get things paid for. But collect your data. Find ways to share it work with foundations like American Sleep Apnea Association who can help you utilize your data and advocate for you to have a voice in medical product development and in reimbursement and access to medical products. How does the Awake Together Summit help this community? The name of the conference is Awake Together because there are many people living with this disease and it's important that we build a community that comes together and really advocates for the community's needs. To learn more, Visit sleepapnea.org now.